write an effective body paragraph for an informative essay. So two days ago, you guys started to outline your papers. Yesterday, we wrote your introductions, right? So you're going to have those on your desk while we're working today. And now that you have your introductions, the next step is we're going to be working on your body paragraphs. So today, you're going to be doing the first body paragraph of your informative essay. And if you really understand it well, you'll be moving on to your second body paragraph, OK? So you understand it when you can write a paragraph that includes a topic sentence, evidence, which means what are some examples from your book, a quote that's taken from your book, and we'll show you a little bit of how to do that today. And then you're going to have a brief wrap-up sentence that's going to be connecting these things all together and making sure that your, your paragraph is going to be staying on top of it, okay? Now the focus for today is going to be getting all of this content into your paragraph. It has a topic sentence, it has good evidence, you found an appropriate quote, and you wrapped it up. When it comes to the smaller details, like using correct transitions, and wording those quotes in really the perfect way and introducing them, that's going to be a focus for tomorrow. So today the real thing is, can we get all of the stuff into the paragraph in order that makes sense? Okay. Are there any questions about that? So your job right now is to take out your introduction paragraph, have that out, so as we're coming around, we can see how you did with your intros from yesterday. Some of you didn't finish that in class, so we'll take a look at it. And then what you're going to be doing now is writing your own body paragraph. You're going to include a topic sentence, examples, which is your evidence, you're going to include a quote and a brief wrap-up sentence that ties it all together, and this is all going to be on the topic of your first body paragraph, which for most of you is background. Double check your outlines, but most of you chose to talk about background first. Okay? So take out a sheet of paper, we're going to start trying that out. Talk a little bit about transition. 